Um, so I have also this question, but I think it doesn't make sense because I mean, I mean, who say who is a god? And because the question is, do I, do you ever find art that was created directly, directed directly by the gods? And yeah. Like, so I mean, yeah. who will say that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Claudia. I think that's a that's a good question because uh, we were just talking about representation mm -hmm. and embodiment, right? Yes. Uh, I think that's that's a really important. Is art representing? In other words, um, do we start with a idea that I'm going to copy, right? Representation is like making a copy, making a copy of something in my head or making a copy of something that's out there, right? Yes. I, I, I make you sit down and I look at you and I make a copy of your image, mm -hmm. right? A portrait. Or I sit in a landscape, I'm looking at it, and I'm copying it. So this is a big old debate, as you must have come across in art history, and you know goes back to Plato and the idea of mimesis, right? That mm -hmm. uh, um, is art, you know, he's talking about the idea, and that nature itself is a copy of the idea, yes. not really the idea itself. So there is a there is a gap between the idea and the approximation of that idea. And then he's saying the artist, right, is a second level removed because now we're doing an approximation of the approximation, okay? So is representation that or the alternate idea, I mean, you can talk about is that even if I'm doing a copy, who is doing the who is doing the copy right am i doing the copy who is the i right this this debate also gets into poetry for example you know are you writing poetry or is something inhuman writing poetry because when you do something creative you are partly not who you were <laughs> there's something else that's talking through you Mm -hmm. something greater than you that's talking through you. And so too, I'd say in art, this is the question of uh, is, is a God directly expressing himself or herself? So if you, if you think about, uh, again, go, going back to the sacred and going back to, say, Indian art, right? Mm -hmm. Indian art is ma made for, I'd say, the purpose of Indian art is darshan. Darshan meaning... Uh, direct relationship through seeing with the divine. In other words, these images that are put up there um, are seen by many people who actually feel that those are the gods. They are not representations of the gods, right? Okay. Now, many people do experience that. So this is this is the reason uh, because it's part of the cultural assumption. You see. All our experiences are very strongly influenced by cultural assumptions. If I assume that it's impossible for you know the gods to manifest in images, um, I will never see them. But if I live in a world in which everybody believes that whatever image I see, God is himself present in that image, I will encounter God in that image. Okay, so okay. this does happen, uh, and then you can ask the question about: Is there a less or more? Is there a question of degree in it? Right? <laughs> How do we determine uh, adequacy? You know, let's say a bad artist paints uh, something, or a child does some kind of is sc scribble. And a very proficient person does an image of the God. Is God more present in the scribble than in the other image? Right. Um, and so here we're talking about two different things. One is that your question, does the, does the, do the gods themselves come through the image? And the other question is, do the gods come into the image due to the power of the seer? Well, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, and this this partly 
Indian spirituality is partly talking about that. You know, in the Gita, for example, Krishna is saying, if you come to me in anything through sincerity, I will appear to you. Okay, mm -hmm. so take a stone, uh, you know, take a piece of, uh, take a mountain, take whatever, you know, this is how animism works. It believes that all natural things are divine. So, you know, like Shinto, the, the Japanese religion, they look out for special natural objects. There is something special about a, a piece of stone. They'd say, oh, this is a god. This is a kami, a spirit, right? Mm -hmm. And as they look at it like that, a spirit will manifest in it. You see? So because potentially, I mean, from the animist point of view and the Indian spiritual point of view, potentially everything is divine. The divine is there, like we were talking last time. And if I call it, it will come. You see, now, on the other hand, when you're talking about do the gods directly get manifest when somebody, you know, tries to paint it or sculpt it or something like that, creates art with it. And the answer is, in what condition was it prepared? So there is a whole, I mean, there are texts and there is a whole idea of what's called Shilpa Yoga. Shilpa Yoga means the yoga of art. And to some extent, even to this day, uh, artists in India who are trained um, go through some rituals when they do their artwork. And uh, if they're of a very proficient kind, they do experience uh, something divine. Okay, okay. And I would say even even outside of the traditional, like I know someone in. California, right? Who paints the gods. And when that person gets a, a, a commission or decides to do a certain painting, that person reads texts, uh, comes into the mood of that particular deity, um, and then feels that deity around, around him. Okay. Uh, and then to the extent that one starts having dreams, and even uh, what really, if you, you're thinking about something, uh, you know, he's thinking about a traditional color uh, in the dream, the DT will come and say, no, I want to appear in this color. Okay. okay. And so <laughs> gradually your identification with that uh, spirit uh, will mm -hmm. grow to the point that when you paint it, you feel that you're actually being, you know, possessed by that spirit. It, who's expressing itself through you see okay so this is a this is subjective experience it's a phenomenology how somebody ex an artist may experience it but this is sort of different so when the artist ex expresses it um, it doesn't mean that when you look at it you will experience that same divine on the other hand, you may look at something that the artist never thought of was divine, but the divine may reveal itself to you. See, so this again is a complex question, but uh, yes, uh, I mean, between representing something as a individual and feeling that a higher energy is representing itself through you, um, I think a little bit of all artists have something between these two going on inside them. Yes. Okay. Um, I don't know if you know the example of uh, the painting of La Virgen of Guadalupe in Mexico, um, where everybody say that was created directly by by the gods because <clears throat> it have so many details and so many things that nobody can explain for that was painted in that century and with that technology you know yes yes i exactly. agree that could very well be the case that could very well be the case that as i said the makers of it may have been given a visit visitation and a a relation and that relation then uh you know prepares uh the artist to express uh 
because they partly get possessed by that uh, that, that deity. And do you have examples in, in La India? Do you have similar things like the Virgin of Guadalupe in Mexico that this... Uh... No, yeah, no. I, yeah, yeah. I, I think I, uh, there's lots of uh, temples in which uh, there are deities that I think that the general idea, as I said, uh, mm -hmm. is that deities uh, are embodied. They, they come. There's also rituals that make them embodied, so that they come into these images and they've actually. Uh, so, as you're saying, that uh, did they? There's, there's a very good example of uh, the temple of Jagannath, okay, who, mm -hmm. which is a form of Vishnu in Orisha, right? And it's sort of incomplete. It's uh, There are three wooden figures, right? And the whole story of it has to do with, uh, with this, that, uh, you know, a, a, a sculptor uh, came as a, a kind of a, almost a divine being who came and uh, was sculpting it but in the middle middle people wanted wanted to see they opened the door and he disappeared <laughs> and what you saw is the image that is incomplete but that gives darshan in other words those who go there feel they are in the presence of the deity uh, that oh, image became very nice yes because i mean it's usually they have devotion, no? This kind of images or this kind of art, uh, yeah. you know, in in the world. Yes, 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 yes. special. Um, okay, so let's pass to to Sri Aurobindo and the mother. And what um, what is beauty for them? 